In addition to those two compliance policies, FDA also finalized two really important substantive guidances, one on uh, the enhanced requirements and one on standards for interoperability. Why are those so important for stakeholders to pay close attention to, Connie? Right. Aside from the law requiring FDA to issue these guidances, um, we feel that these recommendations within both of these guidances are really important to assist implementing the enhanced drug distribution security requirements and to have robust supply chain security that's envisioned under DSCSA. So the first guidance is uh, related to the enhanced drug distribution security requirements in Section 582G of the Act. And what this guidance does is it, it, it puts forth our recommendations for what system attributes are necessary to enable secure product tracing a product at the package level. And so uh, this, you know, it, it also um, describes what we view as enhanced product tracing in addition to enhanced verification. And that would include um, um, steps to use inference and aggregation if needed, um, but also um, there's just a lot of information in that guidance about um, those expectations of how to handle um, data and product in, in that enhanced security um, space. The second guidance is related to standards for interoperable exchange of, of information related to tracing. And this really gets to the data exchange um, for um, your, trans your information that's within your transaction information or TI as we some usually refer to it, and also your transaction statement or TS. And um, even though we have many guidances that help to support product tracing and verification, these two, like I'd mentioned, were we think were um, were critical um, for for where we are at. And the standards guidance itself specifically highlights and recommends GS1's EPCIS standard. As as we work through this process and we were hearing um, from from um, stakeholders in the supply chain. It seemed like this standard seemed to be the, the the optimal standard for drug traceability at this time. Yeah, it, as you say, EPCIS really is the backbone of interoperability, and so I know uh, PDG and, and many others were really grateful to see FDA point to that so explicitly as as kind of the the preferred option. Uh, ultimately, probably not the only way anyone will do it, but but as a preferred option. So we were grateful for that. Mm -hmm.